हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड the problem on state space model for differential equation here we need to obtain state space model for differential equation which is given here to solve this differential equation we will write few equations let us start by writing y is equal to x1 so if we differentiate y we can write it as y dot that can be given as x1 dot let us take that as x2 let us call this as equation number 1 if we differentiate equation 1 we will get y double dot will be equal to x1 double dot that will be equal to x2 double dot let us take this as x3 let us call this as equation number 2 again let us differentiate equation 2 and we will get y triple dot that will be equal to x1 triple dot that will be equal to x2 double dot that will be equal to x3 dot let us call this as equation number 3 equation 1 we can write it as x1 dot is equal to x2 so equation 1 we can write it as x1 dot is equal to x2 let us call this as equation number 4 and equation number 2 we can write x2 dot is equal to x3 so we can write x2 dot is equal to x3 let us write it as equation number 5 so for the given differential equation in place of d cube y by dt cube we can write it as y triple dot so it is three times a differentiation here d square y by dt square we can write it as y double dot that is two time differentiation and dy by dt we can write it as y dot that is one time differentiation and let us rewrite this above equation as y double dot plus 6y double dot plus 11y dot plus 6y is equal to 5u1 plus 10u2 here y triple dot is nothing but x3 dot so that's why in place of y triple dot we can write x3 dot plus 6 y double dot we can write it as x3 so we have written it as 6 x3 y dot we can write it as x2 so that's why we have written 11 x2 plus 6 y y we can write it as x1 so that's why we have written it as 6 x1 that will be equal to 5 u1 plus 10 u2 let us rearrange the above equation and let us write the expression for x3 dot so x3 dot will be equal to minus 6 x1 minus 11 x2 minus 6 x3 plus 5 u1 plus 10 u2 let us call this as equation number 6 so after writing these equations let us write the state space equation in matrix form so this is the state space equation and let us use equation 4 5 6 to write the state equation in matrix form so first we need to write x dot that is nothing but using equation 4 5 and 6 we can write x1 dot x2 dot and x3 dot so in equation number 4 we have only x2 term and x1 and x3 term are zero that's why in this matrix we will write 0 in place of x1 1 in place of x2 and 0 in place of x3 similarly in equation number 5 we have x3 term and x1 x2 terms are 0 that's why we will write 0 0 1 in equation number 6 we can write minus -6 minus -11 and minus -6 in place of x1 x2 and x3 so that will be multiplied with x1 x2 and x3 plus in equation 4 and 5 we don't have any u term that's why we have written it as 0 0 and in equation number 6 we are having 5 u1 plus 10 u2 so that's why we have written it as 5 and 10 that is multiplied with u1 and u2 so this is the state equation in matrix form now let us write the output equation in matrix form so output equation is y is equal to c into x plus d into u to write this output equation let us consider this equation so where we are having y is equal to x1 here x2 and x3 are zero and also we don't have u1 and u2 term 
so those two terms will also be zero that's why in matrix form we can write it as y is equal to in place of x1 we can write 1 because we are having x1 term x2 is 0 x3 is 0 that is multiplied with x1 x2 and x3 plus u term is 0 and that is multiplied with u1 and u2 so to write the output equation we can consider only this equation and we can write the matrix so this is output equation in matrix form this is about state space model for differential equation i hope you have understood the topic thank you